text of the press conference by the Coalition for Nigeria Movement on the statement credited to the International Criminal Court alleging that the armed forces of Nigeria would be tried for crimes against humanity and, uh, and war crimes. Um, the leadership of the Coalition for Nigeria Movement welcomes you all to this press conference convoked to shed light on some issues of strategic importance in the efforts of Nigeria in the war against insurgency and terrorism. This press conference is scheduled on the overarching objective on informing Nigerians of the plots by the International Criminal Court ICC and its cohorts to prolong the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement, having dissected the issues raised and canvassed by the ICC, wishes to state that the position of the ICC is laced with mischief and an agenda well intentioned to cause international embarrassment to the government of Nigeria by discrediting the noble gains recorded by the armed forces in Nigeria in the war against insurgency and terrorism in the country. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement wishes to state in unequivocal terms that there is a high tendency Amnesty International has conspired, has conscripted the ICC to discredit the efforts of the armed forces of Nigeria in the prosecution of the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria. This is on the heels that whenever the armed forces are recording substantial gains in the war against insurgency and terrorism, the promoters and sympathizers of terrorists and insurgency groups in Nigeria will do all within their means to distract the armed forces by making unsubstantiated allegations in the public space. It must also be stated that Amnesty International is one of such organizations that has been notoriously involved in this enterprise. We are therefore constrained to believe that since the activities of Amnesty International has been exposed and exposed the use of process to continue their nefarious activity, activities is, is responsible for the recent enterprise of the ICC on behalf of Amnesty International. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement is convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the position of the ICC with regards to the operations of the armed forces of Nigeria is indeed the voice of Jacob and the hand of Israel. This much Nigerians must come to terms with in the sense that the conspiracy to prolong the war against terrorism and insurgency has reached an alarming stage with the conscription of the ICC at a time when substantial gains are being recorded in the war against insurgency and terrorism. It is our considered opinion that Nigerians must understand there is a need for collective action in defeating insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria. The armed forces, aside from engaging in insurgents and terrorists in the trenches, are also dealing with a well orchestrated slander campaign enforced by Amnesty International and most recently the International Criminal Court. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement is using this medium to sound a note of warning to those vested interests that are keen on prolonging the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria to desist from their nefarious ways as the armed forces of Nigeria have the full support of Nigerians. Nigerians have also recognized the patriotic efforts of the armed forces in addressing the threats past, posed by terrorists and insurgent groups in Nigeria, and as such, the position of the ICC is egregious and must be resisted, resisted by the relevant authorities in Nigeria. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement is therefore encouraging the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to remain focused in the task of clearing the remnants of the Boko Haram terrorist groups in the country. 
We are also challenging the troops to refuse to be discouraged by the slander campaign launched by some unscrupulous elements hell bent on causing a distraction so so that the already uh, degraded insurgency elements can group or pro to prolong the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria. Consequently, the ICC must recant and refrain and redeem its cre cre credibility by apologizing to, to Nigerians that it aired substantially on its statement on the operations of the armed forces of, on, of the operations of the armed forces of Nigeria in the prosecution of the war against insurgency and terrorism. The ICC must not look further in identifying the promoters of terrorism, terrorism such as Amnesty International and begin its prosecution for crimes against humanity. This is indeed what is expected from the ICC instead of forming an unholy alliance with notorious groups to prolong the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria systematically. The Coalition for Nigeria Movement charges Nigerians to stay vigilant as there will be more skating attacks on the efforts of the government and the armed forces in the war against insurgency and terrorism in Nigeria. We thank you for your attention and time. Nigeria shall defeat insurgency and terrorism to the challenge of those vested interests that do not wish the country well. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Signed, Sabo Kodi, President. Thank you.